Zen Motor Cars, and they are showing their uh, micro car here, the Zen, which is electric powered. Yep. And so, uh, tell us a little bit about the uh, the car, Bill. Uh, the Zen car is a phenomenal neighborhood electric vehicle, fully enclosed, heaters, standard equipment. So we kind of took the NEV category to the next level. Okay, well let's maybe for people who aren't familiar with what a NEV is, maybe sort of give us a little background. What is a NEV? Sure. Neighborhood electric vehicle is a special category that uh, the Department of Motor Vehicles allows in several states, not all, but it's limited to 25 miles an hour top speed. But 35 mile range, you can get just about anywhere for those short errand trips that we do quite a bit of our driving with. Okay. Now, is that typically, well, I think there's some limitations in terms of the kind of streets you can operate on yeah. and things like that. Yeah, 35 mile an hour streets or less, which is the center core of cities or the, the uh, suburban uh, residential areas. Okay. Now, this car, as I understand it, the actual sort of chassis is manufactured in France. You bring it over to the United States and then add the electric drive system. What can you tell us about that, what you do to the car then? We get the, uh, the body is made in France by microcar. Uh, we get those over as a glider. Um, basically, we have to add the battery pack in the rear uh, for four of our six batteries, and then the front end has to be totally redone for electric motor, charger, and controller. Uh, the dashboard's kind of our own design with a digital readout of the charge indication and speedometer and things like that. Okay. Now, you've actually begun production now. Yes, we're happy. It's been a long road, but yeah. the factory is fully up and operational. We are delivering cars now to all of our retailers and continuing to broaden our retailer uh, network. Okay, now your manufa the uh, manufacturing is actually done in Canada. Yeah, in St. Jerome, Quebec, just outside of Montreal. Okay. Uh, now this particular vehicle, what are sort of the issues regarding licensing it and insurance and some of those things? Well, I'm happy to say I just insured the first one uh, in my name in California and it was a fun process. It not only gathered everybody's attention at DMV office up in Thousand Oaks, but uh, they looked it up, they found the NEV category, they saw the MSO had the matching VIN number that's complete just like a regular car. I paid my tax and paid a small fee, uh, called my insurance company, and he insured it for about $300 a month for liability only. Okay, $300 a month. Oh, sorry. Okay. No, $300 for the year. I'm okay, sorry. that's a little better. I thought, wow, that's expensive. I was thinking of a car payment. So. Okay, good. <laughs> so how many vehicles can you anticipate turning out in a year? Uh, we're open for about 2,000. I think that'd be a good start. Okay, very good. Now, you're here in Santa Monica at this very first Alternative Car Expo. Lots of tough stuff here, a lot of traffic coming through. What's your feelings about it? I think it's been great because in this in this situation, it's not a selling situation. It's more of an educational process, and I think that's something that all of us in this industry needs to do to the general public is let them know what is available now. It's not something out there in the future. Uh, so I look at it as educational. The feedback has been phenomenal. Uh, we've had quite a few celebrities come through. Lee Iacocca came through, loved the car. Uh, Ed Begley Jr. is here. We've got several other people running around, and it's been a good experience. Yeah, I understand you're hoping that uh, a particular actor uh, will, uh, will show up. Unmentionable name right now <laughs> because I want, I want him to feel uh, uh, not pressured uh, right. when he shows up. But uh, we have a lot of contacts here in Southern California as well as this uh, Eco Limo that we just spoke of. Yeah, uh, that was kind of an interesting thing. The gentleman there runs Eco Limo, and that provides various types of green cars for celebrities, but also provides a bunch of the cars for the Academy Awards. Right, so. right. And they, they're talking to you a little bit about it. Yeah, well, there's alternatives to the alternatives. Right. Uh, the Prius is not the only alternative fuel vehicle out there. These are truly electric and truly zero emission, and that's what we believe in. Right. Now, at some point, obviously, I think you'd probably like to get beyond the limitations of the you know, NEV category, the low-speed electric vehicle category. What do we have to do, what do you have to do to sort of get beyond that so we've got a fully street-capable vehicle? Well, as you know, it, publicly it's been released that we have an agreement with eStore. Um, the testing of this ultra-capacitor storage device, power storage device, uh, is really what we're, we're hoping to be able to put into a regular street-safe car. Uh, the NEV category won't go away. I still believe that that is a category that will help a lot of people's travel needs. But for us to get a highway-capable car, we have to, of course, be crash-tested, uh, airbag, uh, 
Department of Transportation Safety, NHTSA Safety, and that's a big process as a lot of these companies are doing. But now what states, as a NEV vehicle, what states is this vehicle legal to, uh, to own and operate? Right now, the latest, depending on who answers the phone, yeah. uh, it's about 47 states. Okay. Um, there's, there's legislation in every state that requires certain category uh, safety features, but the federal law that was written, the Zen obviously meets and exceeds those because we have a full windshield and full doors and full enclosure, so it has nothing to do with golf carts. Never did, never will. Never will. And uh, that's why we're trying to take it to the next level for really urban core driving. And that one magic uh, term that I use is the uh, urban pioneer. The young professional that needs to dress up for work so he can't quite ride a bike, but wants something that's nice and economical and, right. and environmentally friendly. And typically he would drive this how many miles do you think? In, in oh, seven to ten miles for a job downtown, uh, but average average uh, travel for uh, people in their urban core is about three and a half to five miles a day. Okay, now price on this is? 12500 for a basic model uh, with the same motor and energy configuration on a deluxe model, just a nicer trim package is 147. Okay, 147. And uh, dealerships, where would one go to take a look at one, take a test drive, that type of thing? Well, our website's got a dealer locator, but we've got uh, several in Southern California, including uh, Northern California, Santa Cruz, uh, New York, New Jersey, North Carolina, uh, Iowa, Ohio, uh, Seattle, Portland. Um, we're just spread out right now, and those are just our initial dealers. Okay, so. good. So you're getting vehicles out on the road. you got dealers set yeah. up so people can go down and drive it and see whether it fits their particular uh, transportation needs then. Yeah, I hope everybody could give it a try. Okay, good. Well, thank you very much. We're with Bill Williams here at the Santa Monica uh, Alternative, Fuel, uh, Alternative Cars Expo. In yeah, I hope everybody could give it a try. Okay, good. Well, thank you very much. We're with Bill Williams here at the Santa Monica 